Hey there, Wes here. Well, uh, this is kind of a different video, but I was uh, going out to pay my rent tonight and noticed that somebody had put some things uh, next to the dumpster. And one of them was this uh, Phillips turntable. And uh, I got a friend, I think, who might be interested in having this. And I hate to see uh, something go to the dump that doesn't need to go to the dump. So I thought I would try and save it. And it turns out this one is quite quite unique of a turntable. So I thought I would uh, document it and uh, share it with everybody. Um, this is a Phillips AF829 turntable. Um, I think the vintage of the, on this is somewhere around either the late 70s or early 80s. Um, it's it's quite unique in the features it has. It, it's it's mainly just a it's a fairly cheap cheaply uh, made turntable. I believe it was part of a uh, component system that were was popular during that time. And uh, one one unique thing is the both the platter and the tone arm are suspended. So you see, as the as the platter moves up and down, the tone arm does as well. So that would that's a quite a unique feature. I've never seen that before. That would be uh, pretty good if you live somewhere with uh, wood floors or somewhere where the where there was some vibrations or something that you know every both parts are suspended. So it might help with that thing. Um, Second thing here is uh, when you release the tone arm, you see that there is a, a stylus force scale built into the to tone arm rest. So it's that's uh, quite an interesting feature and something I've never seen before. And so now that we have the tone arm released, um, this is a fully automatic turntable. Uh, it has a LED pitch readout on the front. Let's see if we can get it to focus on that. It doesn't really want to focus. But uh, all these buttons on the front, they're not actually but they're not actually buttons that you push. They are touch sensitive buttons. So we will uh, go ahead and push the play button there and see what happens here. See that it automatically uh, sets the pitch in the middle. And I've listened to this a little bit. It's actually a decent sounding turntable. And nice, uh, see what the uh, pitch control does when you change the speed. So it's it's got some pretty neat features and it's uh, pretty neat if you wanted uh, if somebody was doing some kind of a retro theme decor this would be a really cool table to have or to be a good starter turntable for somebody and I hope either my friend can use it or find somebody else who can use it. So that is the Philips AF829 turntable. Hope you enjoyed this. And see you next time. Bye-bye.